Hello, Phoenix Union community, our students and our families. Thank you so much for your ongoing commitment to your own education and for your support and trust in our leadership and in our decision-making during these extremely challenging times. Last March, again this summer, and again the end of the first quarter, we made a commitment to you. In fact, two commitments. First is that we will always prioritize the health, safety, and wellness of our staff and of you, our students and our families and our community. And at the same time, we also made a promise that we will not abandon you. We'll continue to provide to you the best academic and educational experience possible, even if we are in distance learning, but also continue to provide vital services, food, clothing, technology, as well as counseling and social work. We have maintained our commitment to these promises and will continue to do so throughout the rest of this school year. We've been working really hard to bring our students back to campus. We wanted to be back earlier this year, but unfortunately the spread of COVID was at dangerous levels. We did open our campuses more during second quarter, brought back arts and athletics and activities. We opened our campuses on Tuesdays so that we could offer tutoring, CTE programming, and other amazing engagement activities throughout the second quarter. And at the same time, we have been preparing to bring back in-person learning for the third quarter. Teams of our staff have been coming together to make sure that we have the right bell schedule and the right courses and the right teaching and the right safety protocols to bring you back in third quarter. But unfortunately, the spread of COVID in our community is hitting dangerous levels once again. In fact, this week, we had 12,000 cases in just one day. And because we're committed to your health and safety, we cannot bring back in-person learning in January. We know that there are many students and many families that want an opportunity to be back on site half-time or even full-time. And so we have set a mid-quarter target. If by the end of January, the spread of COVID is decreasing in our communities and is hitting safe levels once again, we will bring back all of our staff on February 1st in preparation to bring back up to 40% of our students on February 16th. And again, if spread of COVID is hitting safe levels, we will be so excited to bring back and welcome back so many of our students. If by the end of January, it is still not safe to prepare for in-person learning, unfortunately, we will move our first in-person learning date to March 15th. We would bring our staff back in late February to be prepared for you and on March 15th, we would have opportunities for all of our students to come back. If we do have a large percentage of our students and families who choose in-person learning, we will have to have A and B days uh, so that students can come back on campus, but remain at safe uh, levels and smaller class sizes. We are also committed throughout the third quarter, even if we must be in this virtual remote setting, to bring back arts and athletics and activities when it is safe to do so. We'll continue to track the spread of COVID in our community. We encourage you to do the same. Go to our website, pxu.org. And at that website and on our website, you will find all the information you need about return to in-person learning and also all the information you need about the spread of COVID in our communities. I cannot thank you enough for all that you've done to stay engaged in school. Students, this is your education and your future. And for those of you who are getting up every day and staying focused and staying engaged and staying committed to not just your grades and your academics today, but your future, thank you so much. And we know that many of you are struggling. You're struggling academically, socially, emotionally. Please do not forget that we are here for you 24 seven. Even if we're not on campus, we have counselors, social workers and staff who are ready, willing and able to help you. Call anytime, reach out to your counselors, reach out to your teachers, even call campus if you don't know who to talk to. We will not abandon you, even if we must remain in a virtual setting for third quarter. Before I close, I wanna give a special message to the class of 2021, our seniors. This year has not been the year that you were expecting or hoping for. Many years, and in many ways, it doesn't feel fair. But we wanna make the second semester as memorable as possible. And so we want to issue to you a challenge, the class of 2021, that if you have any ideas how we can make the second semester 
exciting, memorable, either virtually or in person when it's safe, we encourage you to send us your ideas. In fact, we created an email address just for you, class of 2021 at phoenixunion.org. Again, class of 2021 at phoenixunion.org. Please send us any ideas for how we can make third quarter and fourth quarter special, whether that's during the day, evenings and weekends, again, whether that's virtually or in person when it's safe, whether that has to do with proms or graduations or on-site activities, we wanna do all we can, again, to give you the greatest experience despite what has been a very challenging and disappointing year. Once again, thank you to our students and our families. We hope that you are able to rest, relax, and rejuvenate over the winter break. We ask that you stay healthy, mask up, where and when possible, stay distanced. But again, we want you to stay connected and stay healthy and hope to see you again soon in the third quarter. Thank you once again for your ongoing commitment and dedication to yourselves, but also to our district.